Is CCIE still worth it? I'm here with Neil Anderson, the first CCIE voice, or now we can say CCIE collaboration in the entire United Kingdom. Let's talk about CCI, Cisco Certified Internet Network Expert. Is it still worth it? It is magically worth it, yes. It, it completely changed my life. The difference between having CCMP and having CCIE is massive. If, if you've got CCMP, it's still great, of course, it's really good for your career. And probably on a domestic level, it will get you a really good job. So I'm from Scotland. So when I was living in Scotland and I had my CCMP, that gave me loads of job opportunities in Scotland. But I also, I, I wanted to go and move, live overseas. Scotland is pretty wow. cold. <laughs> I wanted to be somewhere hotter than Scotland. And say if you want to move to Australia, for example, then there's CCMP, a lot of CCMPs in Australia as well. It's unlikely that a company is going to go through all the effort of moving you from Scotland to Australia. So to be able to do that, you need to be doing next level. You need to have something that it would be difficult for them to get locally, and the CCIE is that. Now, I, I know there are a number of CCIEs, but pretty much every CCIE is already in a great job. So it's difficult for companies to take CCIEs away from other companies. But if you go and you become a new CCIE, well, you haven't got that job yet. So you are available and lots of companies want you. And you can get a job really anywhere internationally when you've got the CCIE. It, it, it makes a huge difference to your life, really. It's a lot of work to get it, of course. I mean, if it was easy, then everybody would do it. This is the whole point. Because it is so difficult, that's why there are few, few CCIEs, and you've proven that you have excellent technical knowledge. You've also proven that you've got the, the motivation to go and take yourself to the next level. So that makes you very, very attractive to companies. Also, for things like the Cisco partner level, they need to have so many CCIEs on staff. So you, you are very attractive to companies. For them to get a Cisco Gold Partnership. Yeah. Yeah. So, yes, it is, it really, it did, like I said, I always say, it, did, it changed my life. It made a huge difference. I would not, here, if I hadn't got my CCIE, I would still be in Scotland right now. When did you get your CCIE? I got it in 2006. Wow. I think if I remember right. Yeah. What's my CCIE like, like, number? One seven one zero eight. Yeah, if I remember that correctly. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Um, so CCI before it's really life changing. Yes. Yeah. Really life changing. Yeah. I, I think everyone says that who who were CCI or yeah. um, got their CCIE those years, yeah. like the two thousands or the early two thousand tens. Yeah. But I think there's a difference between you got your CCIE 15 to 10 years ago versus now. Okay. Is there a decrease in value, market value? Well, or in have, have you ever seen anybody anywhere, like on a social media platform or anywhere saying, I got my CCIE, I wish I hadn't done that, it wasn't worth the effort? Because personally, I have never ever seen no, anybody no. say that comment. No. If you are a CCI, definitely you got all of the opportunities. Yeah. Right? Um, but but the question is, should they take, is it better to take like CCNP and other technologies like Kubernetes, penetration testing, or I'll just go all the way, CCI? Because take note, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, we don't have much certification options. Yeah. Um, VMware wasn't that popular. I mean, there's certification, penetration testing, uh, Kubernetes. There's no automation back then. Cloud, it was still young. It, was, it wasn't popular as a career option or skills that you want to pursue. Now, 
again, is CCI is still a good option to take. This is the best option. Best but, option. to be fair, it also depends on the individual and their circumstances at that time. Other, like, CCMP, like, professional level certifications, of course, they are a lot of work to get as well, but they don't impact on your life anywhere near the level that studying for the CCIE does. You can still spend half your time hanging out with friends, watching TV, doing whatever you like to do when you're studying for a professional level certification. Yeah. It's definitely so the education is but, not as high as yeah. CCIE. To get your CCIE, you need to be very, very seriously focused right. on it. You need to have a conversation with the people around you to tell them about that. I was married when I did it, and at the start of my studies, I had to sat down and had a conversation with my wife, and I explained to her that I wanted to do this. I was only going to do it if I had her backing, and I explained to her what that backing meant, that I would be coming home from work, and I would be studying most of the evening. I would still come and I'd have dinner with her, but, and we go to bed together, of course, but I would be spending several hours in the evening focused studying for my CCIE, and it was going to take months. It wasn't going to be just a week-long thing. Yeah. So to, to do the CCIE, you really have to be in a situation where you can put that level of commitment into it. If you can't do it, then do something else. Yeah. Right. And CCI is also expensive. Up to now, I still, it's the most expensive certification. Yes. How, how much does it cost now? It was 1500 So 1600 Yeah, that's for the lab. Yeah. And for the... And you also have to do for the board. Yeah, the, the board exam. 400 now. Yeah. But if the training center is far away from your location, you yeah. still have to uh, pay for the hotel. The fly. Yeah, I had to go to Brussels for mine. It was in another country. I, I had to fly from no Scotland. Oh, that was... I was still in Scotland, I had to fly from Scotland to Belgium, so I had the cost of the flight, I also had the cost of the hotel, I was self-funding, so it cost probably about £3,000, so you know, about four or $5,000 it cost yeah. me to do it, and you're not guaranteed that you're going to pass it either, <laughs> it's very hard to pass as well, so yeah, it is high expense. Yeah, and then um, which CCIE would you recommend? Your CCIE collaboration, or back then yeah. it was called CCIE course. Yeah. Do you recommend CCIE collaboration or take other path? Honestly, I, it would not be the one that I would recommend now. It was for me at that time, that time it was collaboration it was, was absolutely the hottest track yeah. because Cisco had just started releasing their IP phones and the call manager. Loads of companies were moving to IP telephony yeah. from traditional PDXs. It was right. huge. That, so that was the booming technology. It was booming at the time. Now, nowhere near as much. <laughs> so, I would, I, if I was going to advise a friend about the best one to do for them for their career options, I couldn't honestly say that collaboration would be the best right now. The ones I would recommend, again, the same as what we recommend at the CCMP level, security. security, data center, and also the, the traditional routing inspection. Yeah. Yeah. 